In this session, we are going to have an introduction to PostgreSQL uh, default user. So, as a general info, when you install the PostgreSQL SQL on a Linux-based system, let's say I have just installed the PostgreSQL on on my EC2 instance, and uh, this is how uh, this is how it looks like. So, I am already connected to Putty, and uh, this is the shell. And the commands which I have used is uh, sudo dnf and these commands are available on the PostgreSQL uh, website and if you go there and you are just uh, select rhel8 it will show you all the commands so this is just a list of six commands which you have to execute on the on the server and this will this will uh, install PostgreSQL uh, database on your on your operating system which is Linux in my case so once that this is installed, what is the next step which we have to do, and what are the default Postgre user in in uh, Postgre SQL instance that we are going to see? So Postgre uh, is the default OS user, and it gets created when you install Postgre on the Linux or the Linux-based uh, system. And uh, there is a database user also created, which is Postgre. And this is the super user, admin user, which is going to be the owner of uh, all the objects inside the Postgre SQL uh, uh, database. So you can check the authentication mode of the Postgre. Uh, there is a file which is called spg underscore hba.conf. And by default, post installation, the authentication method is set to to peer for for all the uh, the the users which are by default created in this case it is uh, uh, postgre and it can be md5 in case you wanted it to make it uh, to be uh, password authenticated uh, forcefully right so let's let's see how it happens so I have just installed Postgre binary on my system using uh, DNF. Uh, these are the commands which which you can find it out. And if you just uh, check the status pseudo system CTL status, this will show you uh, that uh, this this has been uh, done. So let's see, using the pseudo system CTL command, uh, we have been able to see the status is active and running. Let's come out of this shell and uh, when this binary is installed, the database is up and running. We need to make sure there will be a service account who will be able, able to make it up and running and that will be the owner of the PostgreSQL instance. So in this case, how to how to find out those the details? So if you know some basics about the Postgre, so at the operating system, if you just uh, grab uh, etc wd and grab for Postgre, that will show you that an OS user called Postgre has been created when you are doing the installation. And uh, this is the home directory where uh, um, uh, where uh, the binaries are installed and this, this is the bash profile and how does the authentication happens in that case so postgre is the service account owner in this case so we will switch to that sudo su space minus uh, postgres and if you say psql and if you locate the data directory show data directory there will be two five important files which decides like how the authentication are going to happen so you can see this is the location of the data directory and inside the data directory there is a file which is called as hba uh, um, pg underscore hba.conf this file is responsible for host based authentication if you see the first line which says anything which is coming from the local uh, so let's say all the users or all the databases uh, they will have the uh, by default authentication method peer so in that's this case i am logged in as uh, operating system uh, user postgre who is the uh, service account owner of postgre uh, instance and how is the uh, the identification is going to happen so there is a file which is called as if you navigate to that particular location there is a file which is called as pg hba uh, the where is that another file pg underscore ident dot call if you see this file 
it will show you how the mapping is going to happen for the uh, for the particular user so it refers to the postgre uh, uh, this this file controls postgre username mapping so it maps external usernames to their corresponding postgre sql uh, username for example in, in we have just created or or an os user postgre has already been created and there is a database user which is already there so they are mapped with each other right so that that's way in in basic forms uh, this works so if you simply say uh, sudo su space minus postgre which we have already done and if you simply say psql and if you see the list of the users that will show you uh, our post installation what are the users which are created by default so if you say slash du this will show you there is a uh, database user which is uh, postgre created it is super user it has the create role it has create database or replication and uh, the other details it has you can find out the details using select username from pg underscore user command as well so you can see that uh, there, there is just one user which is created by default and how can we check the privileges assigned to a particular user so you just mention the username and it will show you uh, what all details it has so it is so this is the command this is good uh, helpful command select table name as a schema and table name as table privilege type as privilege from information underscore schema dot table privilege so this will show you uh, what all it has privileges what all this particular user uh, postgre uh, database user can do and uh, where all it can it can uh, do the things like insert update delete truncate those things so i think there are 1300 and something uh, uh, still it is going on since this is uh, the uh, uh, data database super user so this will have so many things right and let's create uh, one user which is called as test user and if we say slash du this will show you how many users are there in that particular postgresql instance so we have just two user one is the default admin user which and the other is the user which we just created and after that if you simply say select username from pg underscore user this will show you that uh, test user and postgre user these are the only two users we can see the information related to the test user as well and since there are no privileges it will show you over here so just a recap of the uh, default uh, postgre user so when you install the postgre on linux based system using yum or dnf uh, by default it is going to create a postgre a os user that postgre os user is mapped to postgre uh, database user which is uh, created at the database level and there is a database also created by default to, whose name is postgre so just you need to make sure that there are three uh, names which are available when you work on linux based system postgre os user by default which is created and that can be verified using the command uh, uh, etc slash pass pa double s wd and if you graph for postgre that will show you the information over there and there are few more files which which maintains like how the authentication is going to happen so there is uh, pg underscore hba dot conf which uh, controls the host based uh, access authentication so in this case it is our uh, local host only wherein this authentication is going to happen at the peer level and there is something called as uh, one more file is there that uh, yeah, let me show you once again this particular file name is called as pg underscore ident uh, dot uh, conf this particular file this helps in mapping the os user with the database user so in our case there was an os user uh, postgre and there was a database user postgre so that way it has automatically got mapped i think it is going to help and uh, thank you